hello guys welcome to my review channel today I'll be showing you uh, how to install a micro SD card and set it up on this realme pad tablet as well as I'll be sh uh, showing different file types like PDF ebooks and the document and PowerPoint files uh, how this tablet uh, can be used by students or you know those who are working as a media content device uh, I'll show you first we have to install the SD card and the moment you do that you'll see this option you get two options extra tablet space where apps and all those gets installed in the tablet um, SD card or as a separate storage space like a pen drive as you can see this is a older a micro SD card so the newer one you'll obviously have faster storage so I'm just showing this here as a demo. Now, as you can see, uh, the storage space has increased. Uh, 32 is the inbuilt and extra 16 GB. Now, this tablet does support OTG function. Uh, you can uh, plug in pen drive, hard drives, uh, other accessories like keyboard and mouse as well. Now, the one thing about the OTG function is you have to go into settings, then system, and then click on advanced, and you have to manually turn on the OTG connection. Otherwise, if you plug in any device, it will not be detected. Now, I've loaded a few document files and pictures, and I've, I've already copied it into my um, internal storage in my tablet now if you're a student or you're going to class or you're working from home and if you, you can basically use this tablet to you know take notes uh, go through PowerPoint presentation even you know uh, study from it to a certain extent uh, I'm gonna show you like you can access you know class notes if they're in PDF format or document or whatever format and you can basically study use this as a study tablet and especially with the bigger 10.4 inch screen it's uh, really useful now first we're going to take a look at the books how it fares uh, using the Kindle app now uh, you get various options like uh, change the uh, background color uh, brightness and tint as you can see I've turned off the light and if I say you're reading uh, stories uh, at night you can lower the brightness and in the camera it not be visible that properly but uh, in person it's clearly visible and you can read books for hours without uh, straining putting strain on your eyes now I've uh, loaded few uh, comics and different PDF format ebooks and I'm going to show you one by one uh, how the performance is now this is a famous asterisk comics you can load a various amount of ebooks now scrolling wise it's really smooth Now here you have the Tintin comics. And the great thing about this tablet is since the screen size is almost 10.4 inches, it's, it, it's almost close to the uh, standard uh, paper A4 size. This is another uh, book on Kindle. Now if the background is white, you can go to the settings and change it to negative. Even the tablet gives three, four features like invert color feature. Uh, you can use the comfort eye and you can uh, be, increase or decrease the intensity the comfort eye basically uh, makes the screen warmer or yellowish in color so that the blue light radiation doesn't cause too much straining in your eyes now 
uh, there's another mode which is provided by realme is the reading mode uh, which basically turns the whole screen all the apps everything uh, into black and white let's see the reading mode it turns everything into monochrome or black and white even the menu screen everything is so realme claims that using this mode you can actually save battery so if you're using this tablet for reading or you know studying books pdf powerpoints anything uh, you can save a lot of battery now this is a powerpoint presentation uh, from my college as you can see you can easily uh, sorry this is a document file you can easily uh, go through the notes now this is a powerpoint presentation now the tablet even supports uh, presentation via, via Wi-Fi so if you have a wireless supporting projector or a computer you can actually project your presentation wirelessly by this tablet instead of carrying a laptop now if you have um, other PDF or any ebook formats they don't seem to work that properly but you can always you know, read through them using a PDF application now this is a really big book it has almost 9000 pages and it's 461 MB now I'll fast forward this video because I have tried many times Adobe Acrobat cannot open this file it crashes after a few seconds now you can use different apps I have uh, used Kindle now Kindle is able to handle this this much big file and you can see it takes a little bit time to open because it's a larger PDF file As you can see, it's almost 9,000 pages long, and this book actually comes in two volumes, so it's a huge book to carry. And the best thing is, you can actually carry you know digital copies of books in your tablet and take it with you in class, or you know carry around anywhere. As you can see, you can go to any page number and access it without any lag or delay. Now zoom, pinch to zoom and other functionalities are really smooth. Now coming to the streaming app, uh, this tablet does support Widevine L1 support, which means all the online streaming apps will provide uh, full HD streaming service. This is the Amazon Prime video. Uh, I'm going to mute the sound because of copyright issues. The color and the sound is actually very good in this tablet, so you can use it as you know uh, streaming videos, movies, series, anything. Now I have subscription to Hotstar Plus. Now Hotstar Plus also streams in full HD. I'll show you in the setting. I do not have a Netflix uh, account, so I can't show you how the streaming works. But since it supports L1, uh, Widevine L1 support, so I think it should work fine. Now, I was really impressed by the color accuracy and the crispiness, uh, especially animated series. They look really bright and uh, colorful. Now, if you're in school or college and you have some 
uh, somebody's notes you want to take uh, the camera that is 8 megapixel autofocus on the back can actually take decent quality uh, photographs of documents as you can see I've taken the photograph side by side and on zooming also there's no blurriness or anything it's cr crisp and clear now I'll also use a camera scanner app and that makes the picture even much more clearer and the rear camera uh, has a wide angle kind of view so you don't need to be that far off from a document to take the or capture the whole page so if you guys like my video uh, subscribe and like my channel guys thank you